Hey guys, it's uh, Strawberry6669, and um, uh, since my mom and dad are gone, um, I just came home from school, but since my mom and dad are gone, I've actually been wanting to make this video for a while. Um, just kind of like a, just kind of like a, uh, an update on how my house is going. So I'll just kind of start off with the front. This is, uh, it's not too bad. It's just the front, you know, this tree is looking pretty awesome. We'll get like the exterior, we'll get like the interior, I can't tell the difference. I think it's exteriors outside and then interiors inside. So, show you around. Got a huge ass tree. Got just the street that I'm on just has like a lot of trees. Like this tree is huge. Got that little cool tree. That tree is huge. This tree is freaking huge. We got all these trees. We got like our own little personal garden back here. And then I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. We should probably plant that. And then uh, you remember our uh, you remember our our uh, guinea pig swiper? Well, yeah, there he is. He uh, unfortunately he passed away a year ago. Um, I don't, yeah, there you go. That's the that's his tombstone. I painted that and I put it put it on top of his body. So uh, so that's him. And we got like a little garden hose for that. And then. This is the backyard, once I can get this gate open, there we go. This is the backyard, there used to be a place that, there used to be a playground here, I don't know if you guys seen like, my very first, like, like if you guys have been with me for a while, you might have seen my, uh, my first, um, my first um, house video, maybe not, I think I made it private, just because I didn't want anyone seeing it, so, um, I think I might make that public actually but um there used to be a playground here but uh we took it down because mom and dad thought it was too old for it so we just took it down and we just put grass here like this used to be like wood chips and this used to be wood chips here and there used to be a sandbox there it was like a slide and monkey bars and everything took it all down replaced it with grass that's just plain now uh, neighbors next door got the backyard got this huge bin filled with uh filled with uh with like i don't know like toys like water guns and i don't know it's like here i wonder if i can even get it open let's see if i can get it open yeah there we go yeah it's, the roof is filled with water because of uh because we've at least recently had like a lot of rain and good standing all right so like we got like a scooter in here got a couple of basketballs that badly need to be inflated um, you can move the chairs and see like a water gun or two. Might not be able to see it, but uh, there's one water gun. There's a couple more back there. Got a skateboard back there. Got a dartboard that I hung in that tree there, but never actually used because I lost all the darts. Got like lawn chairs and a lawn table. Got a volleyball there. It's like all your sporting needs basically. Got a couple skateboards actually. So, uh, so that's that. If I can put this down now. Okay, this is the entrance. This is the entrance to the back of my house. Um, you might be able to see Bella actually through here. Um, but Bella is there. I think you'll see her better once you actually get through. I'm actually scared to get to go through here because this is where bees mostly live. No, nope, no bees. All right, I'm good. I'm definitely afraid of bees. So. I, I know they're like hard. I know they can hurt you, but they don't usually hurt you um, unless you hurt them. I get that, but they're still freaking creepy as hell to look at. So I really don't like bees at all. And you know, we got like a we got a kick-ass lawn. You know, yeah. probably should cut that. But uh, that's that's. And then we got the garage. We got the garage. We got two car uh, two spaces for cars. Uh, there's my old bike back there. No airs in the tires, and uh, it's just broken down. So that was old. We got some old books, old books from uh, from high school, from like last year and from last semester. And then this skateboard is actually like the best one that I have, mainly because the wheels are like super uh, are super loose, and they like you know. But uh, this is actually uh, the best skateboard that I have. And back there is like rollerblades, and oh, there's my metal baseball bat from like little leagues. 
and uh, got keeping some Gatorade. I, I like the red and orange Gatorade. That's like the only ones I ever drink. Got some Coke, some iced tea. In this fridge here, we've got Coke to keep it cool. And uh, whatever this is, I think this is just uh, like wine, like little bottles of wine. We got got a got a box of Cheetos in here, almost out. And then we got a lot of crap, a lot of crap up here for like working uh, storage. This is actually a first aid kit that we never use. Like you're not supposed to use them in case of an emergency, or unless of an emergency. My bad. Uh, we got a couple of mouse traps because we have I have like a mouse in my basement, but I never put these, I never set these up. So I should probably set those up to see if I can catch that rat. So uh, now I'll show you the inside. I'm gonna close the garage door. Okay, so you go in. This is the kitchen. This is the kitchen. I got my laptop set up, and I was drinking Coke. So there's that. Got some old clothes from like a costume. My backpack with all my stuff. And then this is the family room, which is basically turned into a shithole. I mean, look at our couch. I mean, we like there's our cushions right there for our couch. We had to take those off because look at all that. That's that's poo because of this little shithead right here. This little guy right here ruined our freaking family room. Because he pr practically lives in our family room and freaking does whatever the hell she wants. So, she's going to go away eventually. Um, my sister wants, my sister's in California and she wants her, so we're sending her out to her. So, uh, that's good. And then, once we send her out, we're going to completely remodel this place. We're going to get a new couch. We're, just, we're basically just going to remodel everything, just to say the least. Got some old uh, pictures of me and my sister and then our old guinea pig. Oh, I miss Swiper already. <laughs> so we've got like a huge ass vacuum cleaner piano, some pictures of when I was a kid. And this is crap. More pictures and more crap. So there's our kitchen. We got the fridge filled with food. Get a little peek inside and then there's our freezer. Filled with food. Pantry. Filled with food. And then our little turntable of like cookable stuff. That's pretty much filled. We'll give you a little little peek. Well, the top the top turntable isn't really that full. Uh, the bottom one definitely is pretty full. We don't even eat that. That stuff is probably expired. But there's our stove. We just got a new microwave uh, because of our because of our old microwave just broke down. Kept the oven from when we moved in. That's uh, pretty legit. And then in here it w was used to be our dining room. Um, let's see. We got the dining table right there. We took the dining table out, and this is basically my dad's office now. Like he's got his chair and he's got his laptop right there. I use it sometimes because his is the only one that has a working printer. So if I need to print something out for school or for any other personal needs, uh, I would have to use dad's computer for that. There's my old backpack, some papers from history. And then there's my living room. Got big ass TV. There's my drum book, which I probably should return because this is not mine. This is the school's. Uh, stuff from the library. Got my awesome, awesome ass uh, rip-off calendar, which I'm a couple days behind. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys this. Like, if you saw, like, what I got for Christmas, um, you would probably know what this is. This is a rip-off calendar, and it's called uh, Damn You Autocorrect. Basically, every day tells you a, uh, a different story of, uh, of, like, you know, something that has to do with uh, autocorrect. <laughs> which is actually pretty good, so... And there's our couch, and behind here our couch is pretty much wrecked because, you know, we let Bella out, and then she runs around, she digs up, digs on the carpet, and it's it's annoying, it really is. So, uh, and then we go upstairs. We go upstairs, there's our bathroom. There's our bathroom, there's the tub and, uh, tub and shower, which we're probably going to get replaced sooner or later. Our toilet, two sinks, med and uh, meds cabinet, 
And here's my room. That that was from when I was I've I've kept that sign up there since third grade because I was really like into uh like toxic stuff. I don't know, like radiation and like, you know, just like toxic stuff basically. So here's my room. Got a kick ass bed. Got a fan that works, windows, a lot of clothes which I should probably put away or throw down if they're dirty. Got some more covers for the winter. We got some pillows. We got a red snake. We got a yellow banana. We got Patrick. And we got SpongeBob. We got some shoes. Should probably keep those marching shoes. We got a we got a box for from one of my drum heads in case I ever need to replace it. Uh, that's personal. Flip flops for like when when I go to like Florida, California, or even Six Flags, because Six Flags is sick. Here's my closet. Nothing's really in my closet besides, you know, like my old board games that I never play anymore. Uh, this is this is a pull-up bar that I can just put on the on the, um, the facade of my uh, of my door. There's some old hats. I I'm not a hat person mainly because I got this freaking do on my on my head that I want to keep. So uh, and I'm afraid if I wear a hat, then it'll droop down. So I don't wear hats. And uh, I'm I really hope you saw me there. And then here's some, you know, like some formal wear. Got, got a sh gym shirt. You know, just some formal wear for, you know, like formal stuff. Got my got my shirt, my sweatshirt from Canada that I, nev that I never wore. Uh, black shirt, tan shirt, white, two white shirts, uh, a couple jackets. And that's about it. So there's my room. And then we go down the hall, and here's my sister's room, or my sister's old room. This is basically turned into mom's work workplace now. Like, so this is where she works, and this is where she kicks a laptop. She has a laptop now, but uh, old phone case. I think she got a new phone, but uh, that's her old phone case. Loaded, well, not really loaded, but I uh, got some CDs here. Loaded with candles, that's what I was talking about. These got loaded with candles that probably never been lit. And my old, my, what are my Matryoshka dolls doing in here? I should probably take those back. And then we got, uh, whatever this is. I don't know what this is. And then we got, a, I don't know why my sister has a drumstick in here. This is, this isn't mine. I think she got it from somebody. And she took a stick. Yeah, she took a stick and turned it into a wand from Harry Potter, which is actually pretty cool. I really don't feel like breaking it. And she's got some Harry Potter stuff because she's really obsessed with Harry Potter. And she's got some like metal. And she's she's got a shitload of medals from like gymnastics and uh, and track and field from high school and crap load of ribbons. Seriously, that's that's like the best collection of uh, medals and ribbons I've ever seen. But uh, that's all hers. Got a uh, squeaky from this, ah, what's his name Weezer? I think from Toy Story Two. <laughs> that's her bed uh, and all that. And then look, look on the freaking ceiling here. I'm, I'm gonna lay on her bed. Look at the damn ceiling. That is creepy as hell. She did, and she did this like a decade ago, uh, when she was like really obsessed with like all these, uh, all these guys. Like you know, like you know, I could see Jesse McCartney, Dylan Sprouse, Fall Out Boy. There's a picture of Eminem, Jesse McCartney again. Uh, who else? Zac Efron, Dylan and Cole Sprouse, Drake Bell. Just, oh yeah, um, Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, the guy from Ricky, Ricky Martin, I think his name is. I, I, I don't remember here. I think it says on here. Yeah. Ricky Ullman. Oh, that's, that's his name. My bad. But, uh, this is just scary. Oh yeah, Aaron Cartman. Yeah, Aaron Cartman. What am I talking about? Aaron Carter and the guy from that's these that's declassified. It's just scary as shit. Johnny Depp, or no, that's not Johnny Depp. That's uh, uh, Orlando Bloom. That's his name. <sighs> Jonas Brothers. She's obsessed with the Jonas Brothers, and that's a picture. Of, that's a picture I made for her because she was a cheerleader. Um, wall of Harry Potter stuff and from musical. Uh, Mom said she would make one of, one of these from for uh, from this year's musical I was in, and that was me when I had. Extremely long hair. I hate I hate long hair now, so I don't like it. And then this is my parents' room. 
It's just uh, it's just basic, you know, bed, TV that's almost done for, you know, clothes, lock, clock. We go in here and there's the there's the bathroom part portion of it. There's the sink. This is where I usually go to like shave and stuff. But uh, there's that. There's dad's clothes. There's mom's formal clothes. And here's dad's bathroom. He's got his own shower and toilet. But uh, there's that, and we haven't even gotten the basement yet. We haven't even gotten my uh, my man cave yet. Oh yeah, another bathroom. Forgot to mention. Toilet and uh, you know. Ah! Okay, so here's here's the uh, here's the basement, aka my man cave. So there's my drum set. I'm sure everyone has seen it. Yeah, there's my there's my drum set. Here's the um, laundry room, and there's my dad's old workshop, which he never uses anymore because he doesn't really need to. In case of an emergency, uh, dad's old golf clubs because he's really into golf. Laundry room, some some more of mom's formal clothes, and how did my Patriots jersey get down here? Should probably put that back up. And this is all my clothes. Oh, these are these are my sweatshirts. I should probably put those away. This is all Dad's formal clothes that he never put away. Got another refrigerator and freezer in case we ever run out of room upstairs. Old TV that I never use. And then this is basically is my man cave right here. This portion is my man cave. Got old ass keyboard. This is from when my mom was in college. Um, this is pretty cool. Pirates of the Caribbean boombox right there. And I may have shown you this before, but, uh, basically you press this button here to open it. And then there's, um, there's, um, what's his, uh, Davy Jones heart, I think. And then I got like, I got my book in there. So, and then when you turn it on, boom, it lights up. I think that, I think that's pretty cool. And then here's the book that I'm reading now. It's called Lord of the Flies. Uh, Ritz Bits, in case I get hungry. Notes for Lord of the Flies, because I'm too lazy to read. Rock Band Drum Set, which still works, actually. Like, I've had this for two years, two or three years, and I'm surprised it works. Like, this green head is has a little couple air bubbles in it. This one still, the blue pad still works. It's just, I just can't do, like, 16th note rolls on it. I can just do, like, eighth notes or triplets. Uh, yellow and red looks is fine. Kick pedal is fine. There's my binders from for uh, classes tomorrow. There's my Xbox, my Xbox, my Wii, my Nintendo 64. You know all that. There's my old phone there. I still use it in case I want to transfer any numbers. Um, you know blankets to cover up that hole because I don't like that hole. But uh, that's basically it. That's basically that's basically what's been going on. So uh, that's my house. And uh, yeah, I've just been really wanting to make this video for a while. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to wait a couple more seconds.